Wendy Gruel, we are so excited that you're here today. Any thoughts about the uh, presidency for Xavier Thompson? We're so excited about uh, President Xavier Thompson and his pastoring, what he's been able to do, and the light that he has and the excitement in the room today was palatable. You could just feel it. Everyone's excited about the prayer and God and, and faith and the importance of that, and that he is going to lead uh, this community. He's going to lead uh, this city and the pastors in a way that ensures that everyone uh, here's the faith of God, and I'm so happy to be here today and to be able to celebrate and recommit ourselves to making Los Angeles the great city we know it can be. That's great. And quick question about the elections. What are your feelings and thoughts about the elections that you're involved in? Well, I'm very excited to be running for mayor of Los Angeles. Uh, my mentor, Tom Bradley, uh, was an extraordinary mayor, and when I worked for him for 10 years, I got the bug at the excitement of giving back and so I'm running to be a mayor of all of LA so that no part of Los Angeles is left behind so it doesn't depend on your zip code what kind of service you get and education and jobs and it's exciting opportunity I'm working hard every single day and know uh, that it's going to be a opportunity for me to give back to this community and to lead us in a way that ensures all of us can achieve our hopes and dreams. That is exactly what we need. What are your challenges right now during the elections? Uh, well, I wish there were more than 24 hours in a day, uh, and the, the biggest challenge is getting your message out and talking to people, but the kind of support and endorsements I've received from all over Los Angeles, from John Mack to Supervisor Gloria Molina to Barbara Boxer to so many uh, faith leaders and others, um, I'm excited about the coalition that I have built, and, and a lot of people have said, this is the kind of coalition that Tom Bradley built when he first got elected. Uh, and I'm excited about that. He inspired me. President Clinton, who I work for, inspired me. And I'm going to take that inspiration and make sure that we can make Los Angeles such a great city. I love to hear that. And as far as your goals, anything that you have not been able to uh, share with other media, is there any goals, anything that we can look forward to? Oh, well, I've talked about not only getting our fiscal house in order, that's what we need to do to be able to provide the services, but it's about creating jobs, jobs in our communities, uh, making sure that all boats rise, and it's making sure that every child has the same kind of educational opportunity. Uh, those are things that are so critical to me in the future of Los Angeles. Uh, if you've got a world-class city with a world-class economy, you need a world-class education system. And as a parent of a nine-year-old in LA Unified School District, it's personal. I, I get it. And the importance of making sure that our schools are delivering for our communities. I'm excited to be able to take that leadership position as mayor and make that happen. Congratulations to you again. Thank you so much for speaking with us today, and I hope you have a prosperous year. Thank you. Thank you very much.